because you understand. What I'm going to explain to you is going to shock you and in so many ways should not have shocked you, but some of you have already understood it. The present world of astronomy, the present world of geology and the scientists in this world have told us and we have accepted it, which has been total nonsense, that one thing, that as the universe cooled down, we start seeing matter. What the rubbish. As the matter strength of the fields of the plasma, the strength reduced, we start seeing matter. And then there is another fallacy on top of this, that by cooling down, matter appeared in the universe. And then, by creation of whatever, we start seeing stars and planets and the rest. No such a thing. If you understood that in the motion of magnetic gravitational fields, fields, some, they all go, don't go in one direction, and by losing an interaction, they turn back on each other. You understand, the universe, even our solar system, even our universe, was created out of the interaction of the fields in finding two different poles, two different directions of motion, which created the gravity, which led to the creation of the universe, in the matter state as we see it. This is a huge difference that what it is now in the cosmology, in the understanding of the creation of the universe. The creation of the first elements, the first fields, the first plasmas came out of the interaction of the fields, which in that interaction, those who were moving in opposite direction created the gravity. So, this is not in the books of today. Today, they talk about every rubbish, except understanding that nothing in the universe can be created if there is no gravitational field force. So there is no cooling. Now we understand it. And if you as knowledge seekers and the future knowledge seekers will create the condition in the systems or in this dynamic course which you start playing with, you will see you start creating matters inside your course if you know how to play. So, the biggest fallacy in cosmology that by cooling of the universe and by things, matters, the first matters appeared, is all fallacy. The only reason matters appeared because the gravity, what we call by interaction of the fields, the first signs of gravity appeared. And that gravity, according to its strength, they start pulling other fields that in the interaction, some reach the matter state to the observation of the point of view of the man. At the moment, the cosmologists tell us the mass of the matter in the universe is very, very minute compared to what it is. What a rubbish. The universe is full of mass, depends on what you're looking at. Nothing was happening in the dark till we made the grasses that can see the dark and we see life is active and everything is moving. Our lack of knowledge and not understanding and believing some of the fallacies of the other scientists who themselves never understood has brought a lot of problems. So for the first time we understand how our universe is created. How our universe, the first matters appeared. The first matters appeared because the universe is totally and absolutely a, what you call a dynamic world of motion of fields. And some of these fields, in reducing the speed, interacting, have led to creation of the gravity, which that gravity, in turn, has turned to creation of pulling more fields, and with it, creating the first elements and then the first stars. 
So our universe has created out of interaction of the fields and in the dimension and the fields of it. But when you look deeper in understanding this, then there is another dilemma which we all get tangled with it. What we see is that all the elements on this universe in the matter conditions, we call it anti-clock move, movement. And then when we look at the galaxies, the galaxies' arms will appear in the same kind of direction. But what is interesting is why does all or why do most of the galaxies we see rotate in this direction? Why don't we see this direction? Does this give us a better and bigger understanding of the position of our own universe in the unicos. If you understood simply that if you are in a northern hemisphere, when you open the little tap on the bottom of the bath, you get that rotation. And in the south, you get this rotation. Does the anti-clockwise motion of the, our universe indication is indication that we are in the northern hemisphere of the unicos? And in that position, do we now understand why we see some opposite direction motion in part of it because of other universes and at the same time because of creation of the fields which trying to balance the mixture of the universe if that is what we see and the motion of our universe is on the anti-clockwise does that mean a very fundamental point is our creator in the center of the whole. If our universe sits in this position, and it's in the anti-clock motion, and there is another universe in the clock motion. As we see, don't forget, what is in the macro is in micro, and what is micro is in macro, so it cannot be much different. And we believe and we see that we have an Earth which is rotating, and you have a center. Does it mean the unicorn itself has this shape. And does it mean what we call our creator, where the original fields came that in the interaction led to creation of the universes, led to creation of us? Then it raises another question. As this process of change has taken place, as we see in the creation of the man in different part of the universe, in our planet, is it the same? Is there another dimension in the life which replicates man in other sides of this universe? or have we become the reflection of it? With understanding the truth about the interaction of the fields and how they do, we find out we know nothing about the creation. And if this creation is in such a position, does it have a center and has a soul? 
which the interaction of the fields of it has led to the creation of physicality of it. Then the question of what we call cosmology, the way our little universe has been thought to be created, stands correct in every dimension of the science. Then there's more to answer in misunderstanding by our own people in the past times. Something which, one of the first questions I asked as a teenager, and I asked scientists in nuclear industry, and I asked cosmologists, and they cannot answer you because what we say is 100% correct, is this. In the present world of physics, with our geology, they tell us that the heavy material sank to the middle, to the center, and we have a solid iron core. And this has created the rest of it. With the knowledge we have, and this is what I understood when I was maybe 10 years old, was this is load of rubbish. And the more we go into the world of science, we understand we have accepted the biggest fallacy in the world of cosmology, physics, and everything else, and nobody has put it right. I mentioned in one of the reasons in the first book was this. Why? This is why I created the core called Caroline. Because if, if you are as simple as me as a child, and you could see what I could see, you realize I'm correct. Two things. The center of this has to be hollow. First of all, because we have seen a copy of this in the dynamic course, we always get that hollow center at a given space. But when you look at the structure of a planet, or a star, or a galaxy, or a universe, or a unicorn, there is one fundamental point. If you understand the totality of the world of physics, what they've been telling us, that the center of Earth is a solid core, or what we call the outer core, or the inner core, we call it the outer core, and then we have an inner, inner core, whatever you want to call it, cannot be solved. Does not follow the laws of the plasma, does not follow the laws of the physics, of the cosmology. If you understood what I understood as a young boy, it's very simple. By creation of the centrifuge, you push the material to the edge. And the heaviest goes outside. This is by the lower centrifuge, which means the rotation. But by the law of the plasma in a vacuum condition, you don't need a centrifuge. You still get the heavy material to the outside. And the center, in both case, is the lightest and empty. You rotated those balls, and you saw the center. Earth is the center of huge, 1,600 kilometers an hour, and is in the vacuum of the universe. Now, go a step further, and look at this. 
the body of the man and the soul of the man. If we understand this, if we understood this, which I understood at the very early stages of my life, that how much things don't add up, what do you get? We go to our little ball. We have a vacuum ball. Then we have a liquid water the fringe of it. And then, we see the material. In the centrifuge, we see the same. We push the water, and then we collect the solid on the edges of So is the body of the man. In that process, the body of the man, you have the soul. Then you have the brain. And then what he has done has created the physical dimension of the body of the man. But because of the, appro the proximity to the what we call the soul of the earth, he has taken the shape of the body of the man. So, if we go back, because we understood the wrong way that the center of the earth is a solid core, metal, because it has to be magnetic, it has to be a steel, because that's the only time we have a magnet. We see all these fallacies which has come up. We have not understood the condition of creation of vacuum. We haven't understood the condition of creation of our own soul, which in our case, this friction, we call it the brain. slowing down in the strength till becoming to the matter state. What we see on the surface of this planet, what we see on the surface of, in your reactors sticking to the wall, and what we see as the skin of the man. Then the interaction of the fields inside with each other dictate different conditions. We see liquid of what we call magma, and then we see the physical matter states and whatever this can create. Here we see the brain and we see the interaction of the physical body of the man. If you understood this, and this is the reason we introduced these new reactors in the, what we call you know, for sale, is that if you can replicate the Gravitational magnetic field, somebody's microphone is open. If you create the condition of the gravity of the earth in respect to your core, you will see physicality manifestation. Isn't this what we are developing in the enhancement unit? Isn't this what we have been not understood before and been lied to and we have accepted it, that now we have a problem even to understand our soul. Then, the whole riddle of the creation changes. It's impossible it's absolute impossibility for any solid matter to go to the center of the earth. If you understood 
even a little bit about the world of physics, rotation of the matter, creation of condition of matter, and what we call everything else. The pressures will play a game, but the pressures do the rotation of the creation of the fields confirm to us the center of this planet is hollow. The center of every planet is hollow. Every star is hollow. Because we have a system and we can see it. 